Hello. How are you today? Fine, fine. So, well, ah, sí, ver. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Sí. Ah, okay. I, uh, yes. Teacher, I'm working. I work. You're working, David. Okay. Yes. Long day today, Dave. Yes, a long day. Oh my goodness. What time you finish? T at 10 or a little before? Estoy tratando de salir a que sea a las nueve y media. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I imagine that's a little sad, right? Yes. But hopefully you can do it. Vamos a ver, I'm going to call you. Tell me present. The last day of March today. Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela. Analicia. No está Alicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Uh -huh. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina, no. Diego Batres. Trece. Teacher. Ahí. Yo todavía voy de camino a casa. Por el momento voy a estar de oyente. Vaya, Diego, está bien. Y Adriana todavía está trabajando, pero se ha levantado. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, por eso uh -huh. no me... Ya le... Sí, pero ya le voy a dar el dato. Ok, perfecto. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Teacher. ¿Y Camille? ¿Quién me dijo teacher? Yo voy manejando todavía. Mario Cáceres. Ah, ok. Va manejando. Ok, Alexis ya no, ¿verdad? Eh, Grace Michelle. Teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Jonathan David. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Karen. Karen. No. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin René. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. 
eh, regálenme unos 15 minutos, solo termino de, de llegar y, y me conecto. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Voy para mi casa por el momento. Ok. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. David, David. Por ahí estaba, me acaba de... <ríe> Ok, David. Vaya. Ok, los primeros, Adriana, Ana, Carolina Abigail, Claudia Carolina. Teacher present, solo que eh, estoy trabajando. Eh, voy a estar ahí por ratos, tratando de estar en la clase hoy. Vaya, Car Carolina, Gracias. no, Adriana, Adriana, ¿verdad? Carolina, Carolina. Carolina. Sí, Adriana, teacher. Okay. Carolina, ahí está, ¿verdad? Sí, le dije presente, solo que voy de camino. <ríe> sí, Carolina. Ay, que yo le quería confirmar cuál de las Carolinas era la que estaba ahí. Vaya. Ok. Bueno. Nice to see you. Nice to see you today. Al último mes de marzo. Se acabó marzo. Como nada, ¿verdad? <coughs> Ups, sorry. Se acabó marzo. Vaya. I'm going to share. I'm going to share the screen here. And we're going to make a little review of yesterday's class. Okay, remember yesterday we were talking about idiomatic expressions, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow we have some other idiomatic expressions. I know, I know uh, from the from the book or from the ones we were using yesterday, you were doing, <clears throat> we, we were doing a couple of exercises, but probably some of the uh, phrasal verbs that you found there are totally uh, different, right? To different from the ones that you were studying yesterday, but tomorrow we have the second group of idiomatic expressions. And we're going to be talking about some that you probably will find there in the platform, okay? But for today, let's make a, a, a review. Let's make a review of these idiomatic expressions. What does it mean? What does it mean, uh, my stomach hurts badly? What's the idiomatic expression there? Do you remember? My stomach is killing me. Mm -hmm. My stomach is killing me, very good. To be very sick. As sick as a dog. So you say, well, I feel as sick as a dog, so I'm very sick. Uh, to relax or to rest. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Okay, not feeling well. 
Under the weather too. Under the weather, yes. So I'm feeling under the weather. Okay. In great condition. Tip top shape. Mm -hmm. Are you in a tip top shape? Yes. Yes, that's good. Good, good. Okay. What about don't have time to? Can't afford to. Mm -hmm. Can't afford to. Many people have the same thing. There's something going around. There is something going around, right? Like right now, if you tell somebody, you know what, they have a terrible stomachache. And people tell you, mm -hmm, yeah, I was the same yesterday or last week or my fulanito I know was that way two days ago. So there is something going around, right? With that thing of getting sick of the stomach. Okay, what about the last one? To phone the office to say you're sick. Calling sick. Calling sick, exactly. Any question there about these idiomatic expressions? No, everything clear. Okay. Well, today we are going to be talking about phrasal verbs, and that's what we are going to be using in the conversation. Mm -hmm. We will also have we will also have a reading, we will have right a reading where we are going to be talking about reasons, reasons for calling sick. Yeah. For example, if you want to call your boss to ask for permission because you are sick, there are some cases in which you can do it, but there are some others when uh, definitely no, right? Oh, you know what? A friend of mine gets married. Can we ask for permission for that? No, right? Mm -mm. Oh, it's my, uh, my someone's birthday or my friend's birthday. No permission. I want to go to the beach, <laughs> right? No permission. So there are some cases when definitely, definitely, we cannot ask for permission. But there are some other cases that are justified and you will be working and reading about that later on. Okay, check. Uh, we have a conversation. Remember I told you we are going to be using phrasal verbs today. So let's read the conversation first. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did the kid clean up the room before, she, before he left, left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay, now get ready and practice with me, right? You repeat after me. Tom, I need your help. Tom, Tom, I, need, Tom, I, need, Tom, your I help. need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? Can, Can you, you pass, pass me, me the that spanner, spanner please? please? I need to tighten up this screw. I need, I need to, to tighten, tighten up, up this screw. screw. Sure, here you go. Sure, sure. Here, you go. here you go. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Did Kit clean up the room before he left? Look, did, did, did Kit clean, clean up, up the room, room before, before he, left? he left? Yes, he did. Yes, yes, yes he, he did. did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. I know, I know he, he did, did because, because I asked, I asked him to switch, switch off, off the, the, power. Power. the power. Great. By the way, did you call Great. up the electrician? 
Great, Great. By, the by, way, by the way, the way. new color of the, the electricians. The engine doesn't stop to turn off. The engine, the engine doesn't, doesn't stop, stop to turn off. off. And now we have a problem. And now, and now we, have, we a have a problem. Yeah. 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 I think that if you don't oil it regularly, I think that think if that you if don't, don't oil, oil it regularly, it will cease up eventually. It will it cease, cease up eventually. eventually. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, I'm going to give you um, five minutes for you to go to a dictionary, check a phrasal dictionary, okay? Not a common dictionary, but look for a phrasal dictionary and find the meaning of this idiomatic, well, these are not idiomatic expressions, of these phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a phrase that has a verb and a preposition, right? That's a phrasal verb. For example, tighten up, clean up, switch off call up, turn off, and sit up, okay? And also, I'm going to give you the, the homework, right, to look for the word spanner. Okay, go ahead. Remember, you have to, to type phrasal dictionary, phrasal verbs dictionary, right? Phrasal verbs dictionary and online you find a lot. Mm -hmm. Ay, no sé qué, me dio alergia de repente. Did you find a phrasal dictionary? Yes. Yeah, yeah, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Karen. How are you? I am fine. Uh, ¿Qué estamos haciendo? Me acabo de entrar. Right now, uh, yeah, we're working with the conversation and everybody's looking for the phrasal verbs and it's in the first phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs. Look at the, the phrases that you see that are in black. Those are the phrasal verbs. Um, adverbio dice. No. So no, es que no phrasal verbs. Así se llaman, phrasal verbs. Grace. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Because it's a verb plus a preposition. Okay, okay. Okay. I 
Are you ready? Ready, ready. Yes. Check which is the, the, the one or the definition that best fits, right? What is the definition that best fits according to the context that you're using? Okay, teacher. Finish. Okay, perfect, Joanna. What about the others? Mm -hmm. Ready, ready, everybody? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. A ver, what is tighten up? Tighten up. Apretar. Apretar. Okay. Endurecer. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, if you're talking about uh, uh, okay, some law, you can say endurecerse, endurece la ley, right? But if you're talking about this case that they want something to socar, right? That would be like socar. Okay, clean up. What is clean Lim up? Hmm? Limpiar. 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 Okay. Uh, switch off. Desconectar. Apagar. También apagar. Desconectar. Apagar. Apagar, me parece. Apagar. Ah. Ok. But what about turn off? What's the difference? The meaning is the same. Mm -hmm. If you switch off something, so it's just like to a machine, or if it switches off, it stops working. So it disconnects practically, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was, I think, in switch off, disconnectar, and turn off, apagar. Apagar, exactly. And um, for example, people, so people switch off, like you're talking, but they are watching television, right? It's like this. Pulanita, hey. Until you touch them, you say, ah, yeah, what, what, what did you say? Because they switch off. That means to stop listening to someone or to stop thinking about something. That's also another meaning of switch off. So yeah, switch off, 
it's more than a, it's more than turn off because when you turn off something you only it's like the light turn off the lights uh -huh, you turn off the lights but if you switch off something that means that you turn it off and disconnect it right it can be a light a machine so the purpose is to make it stop working yeah okay what okay. about what about a uh, call up llamar mm -hmm. llamar so did you uh, call the mechanic <coughs> did you call the mechanic did you call the technician did you call the the doctor right okay what about turn off what is turn off apagar apagar aha uh -huh. to the difference okay, como las luces. exactly so to stop a piece of equipment or to stop something by pressing a button, right? That's the that's the meaning there. Okay. I'm just going to show you something here. And you will tell me what is, because you have been telling me the the the, the meaning, not the definition. And I'm going to show you here the definition in English, right? For you to tell me what is the correct word that matches that. So check. To stop, to stop a piece of equipment working temporarily by pressing a button or by moving a switch. What is it? Switch off. That is? Switch off. Mm. No. Turn off. Turn off. Exactly. That's turn off. Okay. To suddenly stop moving or working properly. Suddenly stop moving or working properly. Oh. Twice up. Twice up. Twice up. Twice up. Size up. Mm -hmm. Size up. Phone someone. Call up. Call up. Call up. I'm going to call up. Pull until tight or be pulled until tight. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Mm -hmm. Tighten. If you switch off something such as a light or a machine, or if it switches off, it stops working. So what is the word? I already told you the word. Uh -huh. Switch off. Switch off. Yes. Let's. Switch off. Question here? Question? No question. No teacher. Okay. No, everything clear. Nice, nice. Now we will go back. What is a spanner? Eh, llave inglesa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I Right. For you to tighten things. Okay. Now um, I'm going to send you in pairs. You're going to have a couple of minutes to practice the conversation, and. Um, 
to practice the conversation and answer the questions in the next exercise. Okay, this one. Okay, what seems to be the problem? What kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom had? Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at the workplace? Okay, so you practice the conversation and then you answer these questions. Any question there? No questions. No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop. Teacher, todavía no llego a mi casa. ¿Quién? Luis, Luis Eduardo. Ah, José Alfredo. Ok. Luis Edgardo todavía no llega tampoco. Regáleme 10 minutos más. Vaya. Ah, pues lo mando en tríos para que así uno pueda. Yo, yo tampoco bien. llego aún, teacher, pero aquí voy Mario? escuchando. Ok, Mario. Sí. Ay, no, miren este Zoom lo que me acaba de hacer. Me hizo solo tres grupos de un gran montón. No. Es que esta, estas semanas, antes de salir de Semana Santa, se ponen violentas ah. laboralmente hablando, teacher. Verdad. Voy a sacar todo antes. Es cierre también. Fin de mes. Todo, vea. Todo, todo, todo. todo. Yes. Teacher, I'm not available yet. Vaya, vamos a ver. Claudia Teacher, Carolina. Yo tampoco. Claudia Carolina no está, ¿verdad? Ni Adriana. Vaya. Claudia Carolina. Luis el... Uy, aquí los tres no están. Esperen. Grace Michelle, ¿sí está hoy? Grace Michelle. Yes, teacher. Vaya. Grace Mich Michelle and Marina, right? Joana, you're working. No, oh, no. Joana, no. No, Joana, no. Vamos a cambiar aquí a Joana con. Claudia Carolina, you're working, si no me equivoco. ¿Estoy correcta? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, va, ok. Vaya, vamos a mover. Acá. Y, hmm. Adriana, working. Edwin, no, ¿verdad? Pero Mario, sí. Carolina, Abigail, aquí me queda. Ah, pues no, fíjense que lo voy a mandar en grupos de cuatro. Karen Stephanie, David, aquí tengo muy bien, aquí estamos bien. Pero en el grupo de Carolina, Abigail, me queda solo Carolina hasta acá. Diego, Carla, Lorena y Rosa, están los tres. Eh, no, sí. teacher, no. no, Diego, no, ¿verdad? Ah, vaya, pues ahí están ustedes tres. Que están. Noé, Luis Mauricio y Karen. Yes, teacher. Allá vamos a intercambiar con José Alfredo. Noé, Noé, sí, ¿verdad? Ya está en su casa. Yes, teacher. Right. Here in, your, in my house. Excelente. Eh, Noé, hágame un favor, póngase el nombre completo. David, right now, teacher. David is working. Ah, vaya, pero Karen, Stephanie y Luz no, ¿verdad? Yo sí, teacher. Solo que... decir, teacher. Luz ¿Ya estoy aquí? acá? Sí estoy, pero me siento un poco enferma, entonces por eso tengo apagada la cámara, pero... Pe sí, es, pero eh, puede, se... puede hablar, Luz. Sí, 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 sí. Ah, va. Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver. Cuatro, 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 aquí. Es que voy viendo que me quede uno, uno, uno por grupo de los que no están. José Alfredo acá, Diego, y aquí David. En el grupo cuatro, Luis, Mauricio y Carolina. Ah, muy bien. Eh, Adriana, Marcela, Edwin y Mario. Ajá. Y aquí Claudia, Carolina, Grace y Marina. Muy bien. Joana, Jonathan, Luis Eduardo. Oye, es que si no, aquí a ustedes los voy a mandar a otro grupo, a cada uno, porque este grupo sí me quedaron todos los que están trabajando juntos. Ay, pues sí. Creo yo, creo yo, ¿verdad? Que ya estamos, si no, pues ahí seguimos moviendo. Okay, what are you going to do? Practice the conversation and then answer the questions. Oye, allá vamos.
35. Ahorita. 35. 35. 35. En inglés. Vaya. Okay. Quiero ver quiénes estamos. Nosotras dos, prácticamente. Sí. Así que no practiquemos. Tú porque este, Claudia Carolina is working. Y también ¿no? Grace. Grace está acá. Sí, aquí estoy. Vaya. Y Grace no está trabajando, ¿verdad, Grace? No, ahorita está en mi casa, teacher. Gracias ah. a Dios. Excelente. Vamos. Hi, hi. Hello. Necesito compartir. Dele con confianza, con confianza. Ya puedo. Ok, <ríe> Es que les leo la mente, ¿viste? Exacto. Cuando me llaman, yo así como que, ups, quieren compartir. Ups, se me olvidó. <ríe> Así como que, ups, compartir quieren. Okay. Teacher, page number 35. 35. 35. Ya no veo los números. Como... <ríe> este es. Ya no me quise. Practice the conversation and. And answer the questions in activity three. Ok. Thank you, teacher. No welcome. Inicio yo, inicia usted, Abby. Mm. Se gusta inicio y después cambiamos. Okay. Teacher, ahí sí, les estoy le, leyendo. El, el... Ya le traigo a Grace porque estos dos niños están trabajando. Sí, pero, pero aquí vamos, vamos escuchando, nos, nos está explicando la conversación ahorita, teacher. Ah, va. Así Excelente que este grupo. Estamos ahí medio interactuando. Así es. Perfecto. En los diálogos siempre hay como negritas para ver cuáles son. Sí. Así es. Uh -huh. No sé si le, les proyecto no entonces. No, vale. porque no podemos, no podemos ver. Voy a leer, ¿sí? Dios guarde. Me chocan. <ríe> y me manejando. Que sí. me chocan, me chocan. <ríe> sí. Vaya, aquí viene Grace. Ahí para okay. donde jale. ¿De qué número es este grupo? No sé. Ah, sí, no, ya la llamé, pero no sé por qué no se viene, véngase. <ríe> no se ha venido. Ahí, a, ahí alcancé a oír que estaba turn off, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Turn off. Turn off. Switch off. Switch off. Switch off. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre turn off y switch off, teacher? ¿Es lo eh, mismo? No. Turn off is, for example, when eh, solamente apaga. Pero switch off es aún apaga, pero ya no queda funcionando para nada. Desconecta. Ah, ok. Sí, porque dice switch off the power, o sea, como que Ajá, apaga la stop, fuente. It says to stop a piece of equipment working temporarily by pressing a button or by moving a switch is turn off. Ah, and switch okay. off and switch off says if you switch off something such as a light or a machine or if it switches off it stops working ah okay mm -hmm. okay okay the, uh, switch off is for a machine it turn off is like a light no, because it says if you switch off something such as the light, mm. you can switch off the lights too. Switch, switch off is switch, switch off is similar to disconnect, teacher. Switch off, you turn, it's kind of similar to turn off, but at the same time, uh, you disconnect. For example, okay, switch off of the power. Uh huh, uh huh. Exactly. For example, uh, when people are yeah. watching, imagine you're watching television, right? And you yeah. go so into the television that you disconnect of the other things that are happening. That switch off. Ah, uh, okay. Vaya, check another definition here for switch off. 
stop the flow or operation of something by means of a valve. O sea, se cierra la válvula, right? Yeah, switch, yeah. switch or button. En el otro solo es un, un switch, pero aquí en el switch off hay más opciones. Puede ser una válvula, un botón o un, o un switch. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, les voy a leer de nuevo el, el, el diálogo. Uh -huh. Bueno. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. Uh -huh. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will say set up eventually. That's correct. Say set up uh, is the pronunciation. Set up. Set up. Okay. Or oh, si sap, el último. Uh -huh. Si sap. Si sap. CSAP. CSAP. Mm -hmm. CSAP means that it will stop working, right? Mm -hmm. It will stop, stop working. working. Mm -hmm. By check, el switch off es también eh, des, ¿cómo se llama? Desenchufarse, right? Okay. El switch off. Sí. Switch off is similar uh, on plug. Disconnect, disconnect is similar a uh, switch off. A switch off, exactly. When you turn okay. off, turn off solo apaga, pero switch off, apaga y desconecta. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher me llamó aquí. Sí, fíjese que aquí Jonathan está trabajando y Mario va manejando. Ah, ok. Nos, nos apoya aquí con, con Edwin. Para salir. Ok. Bueno, si gusta, practicamos el diálogo. Está bien. Bueno. Si quiere, comience. Aquí lo escucho yo, Grey. Muy pendiente, muy pendiente. Tenemos barra. Okay. Bueno, empiezo. Sí, aquí, aquí lo voy examinando. <risa> Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me this panel? Please. I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electricians? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will cease up eventually. That's Even correct. Eventually. It will eventually. 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 Uh, eventually. eventually. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to take them up this screw. Here, sure, sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine don't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will set it up eventually. That's correct. Okay, pasamos a las preguntas si quieren. Yes. 
Uh, number one, what seems to be the problem? Uh, I think... Dance. No, it's just a Okay. Who is Charles? Uh, charge, oh, cargar. Who is okay. charge of check? Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Who is in charge? Ah, quién es el encargado mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. de checar eh, la maquinaria o el, o el equipo del lugar de trabajo. En el lugar de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of checking the ma a teacher machinery? Machinery, okay, thank Machinery. you. And equipment at your workplace. Ah, okay, who is in my workplace? Okay, mm -hmm. it's uh, computer technical because we don't have a um, machinery. Machinery. We don't have a machinery, only uh, the laptops. We have a laptops only. Oh. So you have the, the technicians are the ones, right? Mm, yes. Uh -huh. En mi caso, teacher, nosotros no tenemos alguien de planta. Si ocurre un problema, sí tenemos uh -huh. que llamar a alguien. Me too. Uh -huh. But always you have es... to call somebody, right? Yeah. It's okay. a freelance. A freelance. Freelance well, service. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. entonces es a, a, technic, a freelance technical support. Okay. Usted las escribió, porque yo no. Sí, sí, las escribí. Ok, bueno, si nos pregunta, entonces usted les carga de decir. <risa> vaya. Ah, sí, vaya, sí. pues sí le puede preguntar. Ajá. Dice, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, es que no escuché la conversación, pero no hay como decir en la primera oración de they. Eh, ¿Quién dice? ¿Quién you pass me the that spanner? Así se dice. The spanner. The spanner. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya, yeah, the spanner. Está escrito. ¿Quién you pass me that spanner? Uh -huh. Y la última palabra, crew. Crew. De esa misma frase. Screw. 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 Ah, screw. screw es un tornillo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La otra que no, no llevaba cómo decir. Panera. Era. Espérame, espérame. Ah, I need to tie, tie them. Tighten. Tighten. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten. Tighten up. Tighten. Oh. Okay, thank you, teacher. That's tight enough. Si quieren lo, pra si quiere ah. lo practicamos mientras nos regresa la teacher. Sí. Okay. You, did you answer? Did you answer the questions already? Yes, yes. teacher. Ah, vaya, perfect. We're okay. finished. Excellent. I am they. So, okay. I need I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean out the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, do you call out the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, I'm Dave. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Right. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine and doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it. 
tighten up. Tighten. 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 Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Uh -huh. Así es la pronunciación. Sí, casi no, casi no, se, uh -huh, casi no se escucha la, la, la T, teacher. La T. Casi no se escucha la T. Tighten up. Uh -huh. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Y sí. la que le sigue, teacher, es this is true. Clean up. Screw. 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 Oh, screw. 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 Sí. Y la que yo tenía duda es que me cuesta pronunciar, teacher, es regularly. 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 <laughs> regularly. Sí, ah, ok. Regularly. 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 Ok. Regularly. Regularly. Regular. Regularly. Ok, teacher. Vaya, entonces... Otra vez, este no es. Inicio yo, ¿verdad? Voy a ir yo. Eh, ok. Ya, dicha. Eh, inicio yo, ¿verdad? Tom, I need, you, I need your help. Can you pass me the panels, please? I need you to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Santa Lab. Oh, la teacher no saca. Let's <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I will need volunteers when everybody comes back. Para leer la conversación, teacher. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me. Ok, perfect. Vamos a ver. Hey, I'm going to share the presentation. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ok. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up the, this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you clean up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop. To, uh, st the engine doesn't stop. To, to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, thank you very much. It will seize up, seize up, it will seize up. Okay, who will be the next volunteers? Volunteers? Uh -huh. Me, teacher. Okay. Edwin. Okay. With great. Comience. Comience, Edwin. By Edwin, you start. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Keith clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's see uh, 
the questions, right? What seems to be the problem here? What seems to be the problem? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. Okay, the engine doesn't. Okay, what, what kinds of jobs do you think Dave and Tom had? For me, they are maintenance. Okay. Check Tom. I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner? Uh huh. So they have they have to repair the machines, right? Do you do you think they are repairmen? Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the next one? Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at the workplace? Who? May maintenance. Okay. Pers personnel or oh, uh, maintenance department. Mm -hmm. The maintenance department, exactly. That's the, that's the one that is in charge of checking the machinery. Okay. Now I have a link that I'm going to share where you're going to be reading about five good reasons to call in sick. Yeah, those are five good reasons to call in sick. So remember when you say, good morning, dear. I'm calling because I'm sick, right? So uh, what are those five reasons that people give? right or, or that are valid we can say that are valid for you to ask for permission because you definitely cannot go to work i'm swear um, i'm going to share the link over there so you go read a ver vaya pues let's get it from here Okay, I'm, you're going to read and then you come and cheer, okay? Check, check. I'm going to paste it here in the chat. Check the link. Check the link. I'm going to give you a some assignment, right? As we were a meeting, we were in different groups. Do you remember the group where you were working? Yes, no, you don't remember. Okay. Yes. Well, Aha. Uh -huh. Who who said miss? I Violet. said yes. Yes. Okay. A ver, Adriana. I'm going to send you here in order, in order of the of how you appear to me. Adriana, Marcela, Carolina, y Claudia. Ah, espérenme, me voy a ir a la lista ahorita y de allí de la lista lo voy a repartir para que cada uno me lea. Una razón y esté listo para compartirla otro ratito, pero después de pasar lista. Ok, vamos a ver. A ver, a ver. Adriana Marcela. Adriana. Present. Present teacher, but uh, I mean, estoy trabajando. Ajá, no, pues sí, pero ahorita estoy pasando lista. Ah, okay, okay. Está bueno. Vaya, Analicia. Analicia no here today. Okay, Claudia, no, Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Claudia Carolina. Present. Y Diego. Present. By the way, I am available. Hey, that's a good news. 
Bachatiego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Excelente. Vaya, vamos a tener a Diego. Ya entraron al link, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Vaya. Eh, yes. Carolina Abigail, Diego y Edwin, you go for the number one. Ok. Grace Michelle, present. Present. Jonathan. Present, teacher. Karen Janet. Present, teacher. Ok. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie, usted está disponible. Sí, sí. Ah, va. Hoy no estoy trabajando. Great. Mm -hmm. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Noé va, no va manejando. No, no teacher. Ok. In great. my house. Oh, great, great, great. Eh, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. Ok, and David. David. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfecto. Vaya, de ahí de la lista yo aproveché. I imagine you already entered to the link, right? Uh, so sorry, Luis, José Alfredo. Sí, yo, pero no, no ha mandado otro grupo, ¿verdad? No, 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 no los he mandado a otro grupo todavía. Este, okay. vamos a ver. El número uno, grupo número uno, Carolina, Diego y Edwin, me van a trabajar el, la primera razón que da en el, en el arco. ¿Ok? Grace. Karen Janet y Karen Stephanie, number two. Carla, Luis Mauricio, and Noé, number three. Luz eh, Rosa, number four. Y Joana y Marina, okay, number five. Joana y Marina, what number? Five. Number five. And exactly what is that we are going to do? You are going to read the, the information. Okay. And then you will explain what you understood. About. Okay. Okay. Voy a, hoy lo voy a mandar manualmente. Vamos a ver. Carolina. Bueno, Listo, vamos a teacher. Ya, ya me incorporé este, a dónde mando el link, perdón, del que estaba hablando. Aquí en el chat, en el chat de la okay. clase. Ok. Vamos a ver. Grace. Karen Janet. Y Karen Stephanie. Number three, Carla, Luis Mauricio, y Noé. Y vamos a agregar aquí a David, vaya, el number four, Rosa Luz, Rosa Luz, ya le cambié el nombre, Luz, Rosa Hilda, y, y me dice que ya, ¿verdad? Este, Luis Edgardo ya está libre. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a agregar acá a Diego. And group number five. 
Joana, Marina, Mario y Kevin. Ok. Vamos a agregar aquí a este otro. Um, uy, espérame, aquí está. Me falta, me falta uno. Me quedó uno y yo dije, eh, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo y me lo dejó fuera. ¿Quién? Yo, yo, teacher, a mí no me, no me asignó nada. Ni a mí, teacher, yo dije que esperando estaba. No, es que no los he mandado todavía, ahorita los mando. Vamos ah, a... vaya, ah, vaya. No, es que los estaba haciendo manualmente, entonces así es más tardado. Vale, ahí vamos. Ready. Ok. There you go. ¿Qué me desapareció, teacher? ¿Quién? ¿Yo? No, aquí, aquí estoy. Vaya, vamos a ver si se logran unir a, lo, a los grupos. Check, check. José Alfredo, lo muevo. No le aparece la llamada, José Alfredo. Pues, nice. Stay home until you are better or no. Or no. For sure that what you have isn't contagious. For example, if you are growing up or have diarrhea, You could have so much beer. beer. How do you say beer? Virus. 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 Mm -hmm. Have so much virus. The sudden onset of how do you say sim, symptoms? Symptoms. Sy symptoms. Symptoms. Yeah. Symptoms mm -hmm. like fever, chills. And body, body aches, body aches. Body, body ache. Body ache. Body ache. Body, body ache. Could mean you have the flu, both in stomach virus and the flu can spread through a work plate like a wheel fire taking down Everything in its path. If your eyes are red, slowing, and crusty, you may have conjunctivitis. 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 Also, no as pink eyes, which is highly infectious. A severe sore throat with a slower gland is a symptoms, symptoms of a stress throat and you can spread in, into your co-workers. <sighs> okay. <laughs> What did you understand? That's what you're going to tell me. That what did you understand? That you feel uh, that you feel sick and you have suspicious? How do you say? Sus that you're suspect. 
that you suspect is contagious, you have to stay in your house. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know, <laughs> just that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. En español sí, teacher. Si, si sospecha <risa> que usted tiene algo infeccioso, no llegue, ¿verdad? Porque lo va a contagiar a... Eh, you can you. spread it on to your workers. Exactly. The protocol. <risa> uh -huh. If I... I... I suspect... I have a uh, something contagious. It's better I stay in my home. Uh -huh. mm. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Teacher, tenemos una pregunta para Este lo a nosotros nos tocó la dos que sería you. Have a fever. Ajá. Lo que no entendemos es si solo vamos a leer o, o pero explicar si ahí prácticamente está todo lo que no entendemos. Exactly. Lo va, lo leen para ustedes. A sus compañeros no se los van a ir a leer, les van a ir a explicar lo que ustedes entendieron. De en nuestras propias palabras. Ajá. Exacto. Ok. ¿Qué entendieron? Eso es lo que le van a ir a contar a ellos. Como cuando usted ve una película, vea, y que va y le cuenta a quien le quiere contar la película, así como lo más importante, una película de que dos horas la resume en 15 minutos. Ok, okay teacher. Thank you, entonces. ¿Cómo van? ¿Ya están listas? No, 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 empieza. <ríe> okay. De curar. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Translate. <ríe> And, come on. Reading, reading the... the... The paragraph and try the, the <laughs> trying to guess. Yes. Uh huh. Because remember that you're going to say it in your own words, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. I think. Uh, read the, the the paragraph and. I think. Read uh, it, read it, and tell your partners what you understood. Uh -huh. ¿Qué entendió? Eso es lo que le va a ir a decir. Uh -huh. Yes. Eso estaba, estábamos tratando de, bueno, de trasladar al español. <laughs> translate. Ajá. Uh -huh. De translate. No, pero eso solo lo va a confundir. A esta altura ustedes ya no necesitan traducir. No mucho. <ríe> Así va, no mucho, pero sí. <ríe> Acá man. <ríe> no, teacher. Ya no, yeah. ya no, ya, ya saben bastante. Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, do you say... Eh, what is the word? Itchiness. 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 Ah, okay. And the manners. The what? Marbles. Manners. No, manners. Ah, manners. Manners. Uh -huh. Manners. Wait. Manners. Manners. Okay, and another result. In addition to rest making you extremely uncomfortable, some are also communicable, communicable 
Communic communicable. Communic communicable. Que, ¿Cómo se escribe? C O M M U N I C A B L E. Ajá, communicable. 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 Okay. Until you know the cause, avoid. Evite. That's correct. Evite. Yes, that's that's correct. Avoid. Yeah. Okay. Avoid contact with the other people. If you find out it isn't contagious. 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 Go back to work. But don't be surprised if your co-workers keep their distance while you don't have to go until detail. And for them, they can catch it. Don't forget to mind your manners and relieve any itchness in private. Imagine que anda con una gran picazón porque le anda dando COVID del raro. <laughs> <risa> sí, cabal. Y de repente empieza así enfrente de todo, ¿verdad? No, ah. <risa> <risa> oh, imagine, you have your eyes red, you start sneezing <risa> and then itching. Oh, oh no, it's okay, <risa> and get far from you. <risa> Definitely. Bien. Sí. Bien. Uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. But, but, but sometimes that happens. I remember when the H1N1. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. That was terrible because people didn't care. I know. I remember when I wanted to use the computer. It was like, because... Uh, there were some people like they were always touching and cleaning the nose and sh and sneezing yes. over the computer and we had to use that same computer and yes. then i i was like putting lice on to the computer <laughs> cleaning with lice before using them because it was like no no one to get sick oh no, please <laughs> Yeah, but that was very terrible. And yes. it's the same with COVID. The yes. Big yes. yes. That's true. That people are touching, for example, with my students, I have to be like, put your mask. Don't take off your mask. <laughs> Over, put the mask correctly. Cover your nose because they say, Miss, I want to practice the conversation with you <laughs> without mask. Come on, put on your mask. So <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> very cool because uh, we, no, <laughs> nobody wants to get sick, right? Yes. But imagine, so yes. the children sometimes. They don't think about what yeah. will happen. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. some adults do the same. They don't worry about the others. So mm -hmm. that's you who wants to, who has to do everything. <laughs> and I sure <laughs> protect you. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, a, it's a problem with this. Because uh, you're careful and the other people don't care. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So you're wearing a mask correctly, protecting them. But sometimes they do not protect you. Yeah. Right? In my case, when I attend a, a client, mm -hmm. I need um, some... Stop seeing, please. <laughs> and the mask. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And, and you can ask them to keep a distance. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. And 
and I can see and I say, please put your put your mask and the uh, mm -hmm. uh, you listen? Without... Yes, yes, I listen, I listen. Uh -huh. <laughs> the thing is that I remember a boy when I said put on your mask. Say no, no, no. The thing is that I want you to listen to me and say I listen to you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, very good. Is so yeah, I can listen to you because if no, they say that you won't listen to them if they if they are with a mask. Uh, yes, that's right. That's terrible. Yeah. The people says, I need some medicine. But you look, you don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And I say, yeah, terrible. I, uh, I listen to you. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> and and yeah. the receipt and the receipt says uh, uh, so medicine for COVID and uh huh what, uh huh uh, exactly COVID. you go like. <laughs> <laughs> no once i came from work and that day i decided to come by bus and i uh, a clown got in the bus and he started saying jokes that were not funny but mm -hmm. he was without a mask and he was like mm -hmm. that shouting to everybody and you <laughs> know i just moved like this and then I came home, I just came and took a shower. Because I, <laughs> and then sometimes that may be psychologic, but you never know. <laughs> so you know. Not psychologic, but. <laughs> can be psychologic, but cannot. Yes. So better <laughs> try to, to, to be safe. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're ready, right? Yes, it's teacher. Finished. Okay. I think yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take you out now. Okay, teacher. Let's, Let's go. Bye. 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 <laughs> Okay, vamos a ver. Um, I want to listen. I'm going to share. Okay, here. A ver. Five good reasons to call in sick. First group. Carolina, Diego, and Edwin. You have an illness that might be con contagious. Tell me. Teacher. Tell me. Teacher, eh, yo estuve en el grupo cuatro. Ah, en serio, Diego. Really? Yes, fui a parar al grupo cuatro. Oh. Ay, es que no se podía unir al uno. Terminé moviéndolo. Ok. Vaya. Ok, vaya, vamos a ver, Carolina, Edwin, Carolina, 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 no han venido todavía. ¿Cómo no, verdad? Aquí estamos. Es? Ah, bueno, yo sí, yo sí aquí estoy. Era la lista, yo estoy, Carolina. Y así me, vaya, ok, tell me, tell me about ah. your topic, that's your topic, right? Our topic is, you have an illness that might be contagious. Yes. Contagious. Contagious. Okay. <laughs> and my, my mother used to say, Mona contagiosa. <laughs> 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 when we did something. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, okay. But okay. Sure. This topic is about uh, that if you suspect that you have a, a illness, it, this illness is mm, very contagious. The better is that you stay in your house, in your home. And in, in this form, you prevent that you co-workers um, get contagious, 
the about the illness. <laughs> okay. For example, what illness uh, do you think are contagious? For example, in 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 the topic, uh huh, um, the conjunctivitis, Conjun uh -huh. conjunctivitis, and okay. flu, stomach, stomach virus, stomach virus, stomach, stomach cake, like the mal de mayo. <laughs> Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> that can be exactly. a virus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. COVID. A flu. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. For example, if you see people sneezing or coughing, what do you do? It's flu. Mm -hmm. oh. If you have so sarampion it, or, or varicella, the, the chipmunks, do you go to work? No. <laughs> Definitely no. No. Right? Because if there is somebody pregnant at work, that would be a total disaster, right? That other person can get sick and will be a big problem for the baby. Yeah. Okay. Now, group it's very number. Dangerous. See, sí, definitely. Group number two. Do you have a fever? Grace, Karen, Janet, and Karen is Stephanie. Estoy esperando que alguien más hable. Ay, porque tiene. Y nosotros esperanzadas en Karen. Ay, Dios. Mire, dicho, lo voy a decir tartamudeando. Uh, there is a favor due to an infection. It is also contagious, tired, mm -hmm. and will prevent you from working efficiently. Go to the doctor for antibióticos. No, pero no me lean. Yo será bien chiquito. ¿Qué entendieron ustedes? Es que prácticamente. Hola, me escucha así. Prácticamente lo resumimos, Ajá. pero, o sea, a ver, es que sería dice como when you have a fever, mm -hmm. is because you have a, have an infection, and then I go need a doctor. Okay, you may need a doctor, right? Now, you know, I'm confused because I remember in the past, like before COVID, people used to say, if it is a virus, it won't give you a temperature. It won't give you fever. It will give you fever if it is a, a bacteria. But last year I got like some other words that saying, if you have fever it's because it is a virus. And I was like, huh? And then, so I'm lost. What do you think about that? Not always because um, in case the COVID is- uh -huh. uh, It's a virus. Virus, but fever- It gives fever. Combat fever, combate um, infection. Uh -huh. And then? Uh, uh, is, um, ¿Verdad que ahí uh, lo pierden a uno los doctors? <laughs> is fever is, is symptom. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The fever is a symptom for an infection. That means something is bad. That, that it is a symptom, not the design. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Who said teacher? Me. 
Luis. Luis. En inglés era Luis. Ajá, tell us, Luis. Yes, teacher. Um, it's a... When you have a fever, uh, probably it's a infection and uh, probably no. Mm -hmm. Reason is a... Uh, the... Your body uh, responds uh, uh, different forms. Okay. And then, and then uh, the fever probably only is a, a defense for a, a viral. No sé cómo lo dice. A uh, virus. Uh, algo viral. Es algo viral. Virus. So, That's a virus. Virus contag contagious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The virus but, is contagious. The bacteria is not contagious. Yes, but you don't you don't need a, a, a um, antibiotics. Antibiotic. Uh -huh. Antibiotics and only a repose and, and rest. Imagine. Only this one and aha uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Problem. That that goes against all I learned before, because I remember I used to go to a doctor like this. I have a throat, throat. Uh, my 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 throat really hurts. Uh -huh. And she examined and she said, hmm, "It's red. You have no placa. It's not an infection. It must be virus. So just take." Uh, antihistaminics and that's it no antibiotics yes mm -hmm. but now you go with a, with a pain in your throat and they tell you it is a virus you have to take antibiotics <laughs> yes probably yes <laughs> but so, uh, uh, so it's, like... it's, a, it's not a, uh, always Medicine has changed. Yes, yes. Because last year, remember that I was <laughs> for about two months. Mm -hmm. My <laughs> throat was totally red, but mm -hmm. at the same time, red and yellow all around and white. So it was very strange. But it was like very, very. Uh, swallow and i had to get two injections <laughs> but those very strong injections that i felt like a chibolita <laughs> yeah i don't like injections but the injections yeah. helped yeah right helped so because it's a focus a focus a uh, uh, infection yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have a fever. Yes. <laughs> Probably is a is a is a you your body is a, a response for for this one. <laughs> uh huh. I rarely get fever. Rarely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But that that was that was very weird. My daughter had gotten a similar infection about. The last the previous year about mm -hmm. like six months before so i don't know what it was what type of virus or infection or what mm -hmm. but she got fever i didn't but the third uh, the throat was exactly the same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we never yeah. knew what it was you know, a good defense <laughs> i always I, <laughs> because you you your body responds a uh, a low <laughs> uh -huh. and you and your daughter uh, don't respond the same uh-huh she didn't respond the same she was mm -hmm. really really sick for about two weeks mm -hmm. she was yeah. she, she even got a sick leave Mm -hmm. She got a fever. A defense. Uh -huh. her, her, her body is, is uh, developing. <laughs> developing. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
developing defenses could be yes could be could be bye and next group group number eight. hey thank you thank you dr luis i know you know about medicine yeah you know. <laughs> okay you have a rush carla luis mauricio oh, you got that. okay carla luis mauricio and noe you have rush yes it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's you like have a rush. <laughs> okay. okay, tell me. Um, I understand, okay. Uh, when you have a rash, uh, probably it's a, uh, an infection that is a, a communica communicable when you uh, when you pass uh, uh, with another people you communicate the the, the rush that if and that is a uh, if a uh, do you think uh, that's psychologic yes probably you yes see somebody with rash and then you feel the same <laughs> you see somebody with the eyes very red with conjunctivitis and then you feel your eyes are itchy too yes Could be. probably probably uh, the symptoms and the sense uh, when you see these symptoms and the and these signs sorry uh, you says ah, probably it's a contagious Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like you uh, when you how do you say estornuda sniff when you sniff uh, near uh, the place and another people see probably says mm, it's a sick person <laughs> ah, yeah <laughs> and what about and, the, the rush? Can you pass the that's rush true. to another person according to the reading? Probably, probably. I, I need a, a same exams mm -hmm. because uh, probably a sarampion or varicella. <laughs> Just allergy to something. Yes, ah, yes, probably mm -hmm. allergy. Then when when you have a, a detail for the exam, you are a, <laughs> a what do you say, tranquilo? <laughs> tranquilo? Yes. I don't remember. <laughs> Are you relaxed, we can say, yeah. in this context? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a, a, probably you relax for this one. Or well, you feel a relieved, right? Yes. You feel yes. a relieved. Yes. But what happens if you see somebody like this? <laughs> you pass it. <laughs> you pass it the rush. Exactly. And the other person will start feeling yes. a rush. Yes. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Number four. Number four, you are Wait, in significant pain. Okay, you okay. are in significant pain. Yeah, um, we think this topic is about significant pain, like uh, headaches, springs, broken bones, and other problems cause severe or significant pain. And you choose if you go to work, and probably not work too good without the medication uh, for this pain. Okay. What about a migraine? Migraine. A migraine. Mm, no, teacher. Don't say anything about this. For example, a migraine is a headache. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. A migraine. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it's like migraine. It's one uh, side of your face hurts, even the eyes hurt, and you feel like vomiting, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So that is a, a very common reason 
for people not going to work because they correct the pain and is maybe you can go to work that if you don't have a, a correct me, a medication you are a, a, a bad day <laughs> you have a bad day exactly exactly that's true okay at least this is not contagious right no it's not contagious mm -hmm. okay very good thank you Luz. and the last one you welcome and marina you have a common call yes uh, you can call and seek uh, we think that you can call and seek when your call is a severe cold, like you are sneezing all the time and have a lot of congestion and uncontrollable cold. Maybe you have to stay at home because you can spread orders in your workplace. So it's not correct when you have a, 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 a seriously cold. Yeah. yeah also you can have fever and yes a lot of symptoms mm -hmm. okay that will be a good reason to call them sick do you think now is it a good idea to go to work if you have a common cold now not now because if you sneeze only one time people are looking you at Oh my gosh, she had COVID or something like that. So no, no now. Mm -hmm. So if you start sneezing or coughing. Yeah. Sneezing and like this, like water, yes. right? Like ah. water, like have a lot don't, of flu. Mm -hmm. Don't go to work. Can that be contagious? Yes, of course. <laughs> don't go to work so that's a very good reason for calling sick yes. right that's yes. a good reason exactly for calling sick so you say uh-uh no don't come and and your boss can even send you home i remember when i got paperas it was my second job. I was by that time working as a secretary. I remember I got to work and I was like, I couldn't open my mouth very well. And I was still studying at the university and I went to the doctor at the university and the doctor diagnosed paperas. Well, I had a, a sick leave, right? And I had to go take it to, to my job because my boss will not believe if I said, listen, I have a pedas, right? There were no phones in that time to say, I'm going to take a picture and send it to, to my boss. So I went to the office and I told him, you know what? Um, the doctor says I have a pedas. He said, You haven't touched the phone, right? And say, no, I'm just arriving. He said, go, 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 go home. Go home, go home, go home. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Don't worry. See you next year. <laughs> and he didn't want even to see me because he said, no, I haven't gotten paperas, he said, and I may get sick. So, uh, 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 uh. go, go. I felt like a leprosa, right? <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go home. Don't touch the phone. Don't touch anything here. And he sent the boy to clean again, to clean the office again, just because I had arrived with that. But imagine, so that that is really contagious, right? So that will be, that will enter in this type of illnesses that might be well, no, might be, but are contagious. I was too, too young to think about it. Huh? Tell me, Maurice. And you remember uh, the grandmothers put it on in, 
like potatoes. <laughs> tomato. Uh, really? Tomato. Mm -hmm. It was mm. sliced of tomato, but big tomato. My, my, yes, my grandmother put it on a, a potato. A potato. A, potato. <laughs> a cold potato. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I remember my my mom used to put me a tomato. But really? I was like that for imagine the same it was my birthday. My birthday is on December 20th when I started feeling the, the, the symptoms. So for December, well, and I noticed because suddenly I couldn't open my mouth and I felt my eyes hurt and I felt like this. I said, mm -hmm. like, my eyes hurt. And somebody at church told me, mm, those are papitas. And I said, oh. and my sister said, no. And yeah, it was papitas. So I <laughs> imagine when it was December 24th, everybody eating very happy, the chicken, and I couldn't eat because I couldn't open my mouth. So I was with the chicken like this. Like if I was a little chill. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. And you yeah. see it with the, uh, like this, <laughs> with the tomato and the potato and you see. <laughs> ready to eat. <laughs> yeah, ready, ready to be eaten. Okay, bueno, let's move to the next step. Check. We're talking about phrasal verbs. Remember at the beginning, we were talking about the meaning of the phrasal verbs that we had in the conversation, right? And we said that a phrasal verb is a verb plus they call it a particle, but a particle is a preposition, right? That's a particle. So it says some verbs are two part verbs. What does it mean to part verbs that you can define? For example, if you say, turn it off, turn it on, switch it off. Eso se llaman two part verbs porque usted puede eh, separar el verbo y la preposición que está usando. Right? So if you say, turn it off, turn the television off. So you can separate, turn the verb and the particle off, turn it off. So I'm going to turn, so you see, turn it off. Yeah. For example, take plus after. He takes after his father. Takes after, he looks like his father or he behaves like his father, right? Takes after. What does it mean, takes after? Que se parece, right? Call off. Mary called the meeting. Mary called off the meeting. What is call off? Cancelled. What is call up? What is call up? Tamar. 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 We call off, canceled. Canceled. Right? Mm -hmm. You canceled the meeting. Vaya, check the, check the prepositions here. Meeting. Tighten up. Clean up. Switch off. Call up, turn off, cease up. Okay. So we have two word verbs, so two part verbs. Now, what you're going to do is match the two parts of the uh, phrasal verbs. You have the verb and the preposition. See? 
For example, if you say tighten, up, switch, off, off, clean, up, up, up. I, sis. Up. 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 Torn. Off. 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 Call. Up. 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 Yeah. Call up. So you have two part verbs. So two word verbs. Hay algunas phrasal verbs que no tienen solo dos palabras. Tienen hasta tres. Pero no los voy a meter en esos libros. Right? Now, what are you going to do here? You're going to use these uh, phrasal verbs here to complete the sentence. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. Okay, I need to tighten up. Remember, we say switch off and clean up. Sis up, turn off, and call up. Okay? So use the words to complete uh, the sentences, and then and we will check. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will give you one minute. Or two. <laughs> Teacher, in the second is a let's clean up this place. Let's clean up this place. Vamos a ver, this workshop is very dirty. Uh -huh. Let's, Let's clean up. Clean up this place. Let's clean up this place. Uh -huh. Number three. Remember to. Remember to turn off the power. I think that is switch off. Switch, switch off. off. See. Okay. See. To switch, yeah, switch off. off because remember switch off means to turn off but disconnect too right switch yes off. yes that's right i forget <laughs> apagar y desconectar mientras que el otro solo es apagar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Switch off. yes remember to switch off the power before you remove the machine okay. i don't read the another part <laughs> <laughs> Which other part? And it's on it says before you remove the machine. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. Yes. Remember to switch off the power before well, you remove the machine. Yes, only only read the remember to switch off the power. Oh. Ah. The same the same part, right? Uh-huh. The same two part. Okay. I, um, I, <laughs> Number four, I hope the computer won't turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Yes. <gasps> Ay, sí, se acuerdan un día que empezando clases iba y se me apagó la computer. I <laughs> switch it off by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I switch it off and I was like, ah, no, I que había entrado con algo de tiempo antes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number five. Number five. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. up. They seize up. up. Yes, it needs to up. seize up. Se ponen duras las teclas. Sí, se enduran y se traban. Right? Sí, sí. Ay, yo son. Track. 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 Sometimes I see that. Ok. <laughs> Your finger, sí, <see> sí. <laughs> yeah. O the back. Vaya, yes. let's see the printer just stopped working. We need to call up. Call up. Call up. Call up. Call up. Remember, call up means to make a call. 
a call of? It's cancelled. Cancelled. Mm -hmm. Cancelled or postponed, right? Okay. Yeah. Question. Question. No, teacher. Probably no, teacher. Probably <laughs> no. Ah. No, everything when clear. When I see the exam, probably. In so the yeah. exam, yeah, now I have questions, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, vaya, pues, I'm going to call you. Vamos a ver quién se va a quedar conmigo ahora. Let's see. Clau, no, Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. Adriana, Marcela. Muy luego estoy llamando lista, dice Adriana. Adriana, <ríe> siempre le llamo un minuto antes. Adriana Marcela, ¿no? Está trabajando aún. Ay, no me oyó, ¿verdad? No. Porque la otra dos veces sí me ha oído. Ya la Ana, recuerdo. Ana Alicia. Ana, 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 Ana. Hoy no vimos a Ana. Carolina no. Abigail. Present teacher. Carolina, Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Hmm. Present. Ok, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé. Present teacher. Present. Ok, Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina. Marina Vanessa. David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok. Vamos a ver, hoy es día número 14, ¿verdad? Check. 14. Entonces le toca a Luis Edgardo, le toca hoy quedarse. Ok, no problem. Ok, perfect. Bueno, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Good 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 night. Hi, hi. Good night. Good night. Yal. Good night. Adiós, teacher. No, mentira. Aquí estoy. Bye, teacher. No pude estar en toda la clase. En serio, sigo trabajando. Ay, qué tremendo. Sí. Lo Ojalá le quede, mañana. Ojalá Hola. le quede tiempito mañana para ver el, el video, Adriana. Sí. Mañana, mañana espero que sí. Lo que pasa es que ahora como es cierre y... Un solo desmadre, un solo desmadre, así totalmente. Te comprendo, te ah, comprendo. Qué tremendo. Sí. Lo bueno es que ya casi viene la vacación. Sí, eso sí. Gracias, feliz noche. Feliz noche. Adiós. Hi, Bye. Ya, 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 ya adelante las tareas. Eso. Sí. Muy eh, bien. Revise, por favor. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver cómo va. 
Sí, no, es, es, que, es que le soy sincero, el, el ciclo pasado me atrasé porque no sabía muy bien la, cómo manejar el, 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 el eh, todo, pues. Ajá, Pero el ya tiempo, siento, el espacio. Ahorita, ahorita creo que he ido adelantando, incluso cuando me ha quedado tiempo libre. Sí, así es, al principio cuesta, ver, ya después se... Sí. Se adapta sí, uno. Sí, se adapta rápido. Perdónenme que, que estos días han sido pesados, pero ya mañana regresamos a la normalidad. Sí. Incluso aquí estoy haciendo dos cosas al mismo tiempo, pero ya, pero ya mañana seguimos um, ya. Multi, multitasking. Yes. Multitasking. multitasking. Mañana ¿Listo? seguimos con idiomatic expression. Ok. Seguimos con otras idiomatic expressions. Eh, hay una que vimos antier. ¿Verdad? Okay. Y quiero ver si sí, le salieron acá en la, en la, en la plataforma. Hay, unas, hay una que creo que no le he hecho, que pero de las de las que... Mañana, mañana nos vamos a, a extender a ver este, alguna que ustedes tienen acá que no, no son de las que salían en el manual, ¿verdad? Pero es, okay. le vamos a hacer un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un review de, de idiomatic expressions. Y vamos a ver tanto algunas que les salieron la vez pasada que probablemente ustedes dirían, pues como que no las conozco, ¿verdad? No las vimos. Y otras nuevas eh, que vienen en esta otra, en esta otra unidad. Bueno, en este otro lesson, mejor dicho. Uh -huh. Ok. You have there hit the sack. Eh, it's not rocket science. Uh -huh. Quiero ver cuál es la otra. It brings a uh, let someone off the hook. All these the are uh, uh -huh, off the hook. Let someone hook. off the hook. These are uh, expressions that uh, what we were saying yesterday is that they are not translated literally. Yeah. Okay. We cannot uh, translate them literally because they will have no logic at all. For example, if you say, uy, I miss the boat. ¿Quién bote te vas a trabajar? Le van a decir. <laughs> Ajá. Okay. It has no, no, no relation. Like in Spanish, when we use, uh, she will miss the train. Okay. Okay. She will okay. miss the train. Miss With, We perfectly pues, know that it refers to a woman who's single. Okay, the, the, this different the, the traduction the and the Spanish. Aha. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Miss Miss the train means eh, se quedó soltera, ya no se casó. Ya no se casó. Aha, uh -huh, ya no se casó. So that's that's totally different. Vamos a ver, Luis Edgardo, aquí está, muy bien, muy bien, okay. muy bien, ya, ya va adelantadito. Ya sí, el, ex, sí, sí. el examen final ya le puede ir haciendo un par de cositas también al, al tener allí tiempo, vea. Ok. Porque hay cosas que trae el examen que ya, que ya la pieron. Ok, ok. Ya, ya puede Perfect. ir adelantando allí. Sí, este, a, ahorita lo que he ido tra tratando de, 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 de adelantar en el poquito rato que tengo libre, pero por ser cierre de mes he estado, sí. pero horriblemente. Se, se satura, ¿verdad? Se satura. Sí. Es... Pero que sí, todo, yo ¿no? le, le agradezco un montón que vaya, que vaya pendiente y adelantando, ¿verdad? Y no se, no se retrase. Fíjense que yo, yo siempre les insisto y los molesto. Bueno, sirve, pues se va formando el hábito. Y lo otro... 
es que para uno es más, eh, es más fácil ir recogiendo las tareas así como en orden. Como por adelantado. No. Ah, sí, yo de hecho, la gente que veo que ya tiene el 100, aunque no sea viernes, yo se la empiezo a recoger, ¿verdad? Para que así ya cuando llegamos al viernes, y recogiendo ya solo las que están pendientes, incluso sábado en la mañana, doy una revisadita así rapidito, pero ya los últimos que se me quedaron así como que, ay, no lo pude hacer y ahorita sí. Entonces, pero, pero sí es sumamente importante para uno cuando van trabajando así con tiempo porque uno no se atrasa, ¿verdad? Exacto. No a la hora de, de recoger y para ustedes muy, mucho más cómodo. Pues ya mañana termina súper cansado, pues ya, ya estuvo, ya completó, ya se puede ir a descansar tranquilo. Sí, no, y, 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 y la verdad es que quiere bastante hábito porque, por ejemplo, el, sábado, el viernes yo mañana salgo temprano, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que hacemos todos generalmente es adelantar el trabajo. Exacto, exacto, es de, es de aprovechar. Y fíjese que a veces cuando uno está más ocupado, se organiza mejor. Porque cuando tiene un poquito de tiempo, así como que, ah, tengo tiempo, ahí lo voy a hacer mañana. Entonces, uno tiende a, 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 a tenerse un poquito a veces y... Y cuando está más ocupado, se organiza un poquito más, medio ratito libre y voy a hacer esto, porque no sé cómo voy a estar mañana. Entonces eso al final pues va creando un hábito y, y, y le va ayudando a, a fortalecer esas áreas, ¿verdad? Y, y principalmente cuando se hace o se toma un curso online, eso es del hábito ayuda mucho. Eso ayuda sí, no, de, de, definitivamente, o sea, créame que, que, es, que, que es prácticamente de hábito, pues. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, y eso es lo que al principio cuesta, ¿verdad? Formarlo, ya una vez se acostumbra a la clase termina, tengo abierta la plataforma, aprovecho, ¿verdad? De, de, de terminar. Y así después ya no hay problema. Pues, teniendo abierta la plataforma son cinco minutos. Pero Correcto. si abrir desde de todo, eh, se tarda pues mucho más tiempo. Entonces, taking advantage of the time. Ok. okay <laughs> I, I don't know, eh, Luis Edgardo, if you have any other question about any of the mm. topics that we have started. Mm. No, no, no questions. No questions? No, no questions, teacher. Okay. So just take into, into account, right? So you can start uh, completing the exam, the final exam. If you have time, you can start checking and that will mm. give you like more okay. tranquility next week when you in, have in, many other And relax the, the, the week. Exactly, exactly. You can relax a little bit because you will feel like I already, I already did this and I don't have to okay. worry much about it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're going to the last unit, but the last unit is very basic because it's about something that we have already used to. We're talking about uh, models, for example, model okay. of advice, We're talking the, the, about permission, possibility. The, uh -huh. We already for have unit. a unit four. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, unit four yes. is very basic. We already use should. You already know how to use could for permission and for possibility okay. or probability. We already studied how to give instructions, right? Maybe what is new? is the procedures to request for permission that it's like okay the 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 this uniform is i sound funny yeah and it yeah. it i find it easier than the other units that we have studied in okay. case of the topics of the grammar structures that we are going to be covering here so they are easier than 
than the ones you had in unit two and that the ones that you have in this unit number three, because this material of unit three is totally new for you. Okay, right? the, 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 the unit three, uh, I, uh, uh, they have, uh, I have felt more, di more difficult. Uh-huh, because we are not used to work with idiomatic expressions. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. we, we do not use idiomatic expressions. We usually use a, a normal speaking, right? But when normal you talk with speaking. American people, they use a lot of idiomatic expressions. And that's okay. why it is good to know them so you can understand easily what they are saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem, okay. teacher. Okay, well, I don't know if you have any other question or comment. Uh, no, no, no questions, no comment. Okay, perfect. Thanks well, for your help. You're welcome. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Yes, good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Take care.